Hello Sagittarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here to do a timeless love reading for Sag to be published the first week in September. So you will remember September. We have a lot of cool transits coming up for you astrologically, so you may want to st stay tuned into those. Uh, when we post them, look at this, the sun card, the happiest card, and the deck is the overall energy. You're feeling, ooh, what happened in the recent past? Ouchie. It does look like you've gone through a little bit of dark night of the soul here, but things look happy now. So let's look and see the energy in the recent past between you and a significant other the person that you've come to ask about. The world card. I love the world card. It's the most successful card in the deck. It's the best card in the tarot deck. It really means that you have completed a hurdle or a successful phase or stage of your relationship in the recent past. In the current energy, look at that, the star card, Aquarius, Saturn energy, Aquarius energy. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true and both of you are feeling so connected, so tender hearted towards each other, so much in the energy that you really adore each other. You feel as though the other person is your wish fulfillment. How does your person see the situation going forward? Will they see that they have planted a garden with you and they are tending to that garden beautifully? I love this Taurus energy. It's really investing in the relationship. How they view you. Oh, Sagittarius, look at that. The Two of Cups, they view you as a perfect partner. The Two of Cups is somebody who's very loving. It's a soulmate energy. They feel as though you're their soulmate. They feel that you feel the same way. Oh, you guys look like you're having a very powerful, powerful connection and a time and a connection. How does your person feel in their heart space? They feel like they have to fight for your attention. That is ego. That is Leo energy, five of wands energy. Sometimes it's like they try to do too much. I think they overdo it. And sometimes I think they, they can almost get in their own way here but they have fire in there they have fire for you the five of wands though also tells me that they feel a little insecure like they have to compete for your attention how they see the relationship moving forward okay that's a bit thorny all right the devil card i'm never fond of the devil card this is quite an enticing devil though look at the beautiful hair it has glitter beautiful chest tattoo but we have somebody there who is trying to be in control so your person feels as though the way forward is to try to control things and this card can cause some trouble here conflict all right how what's the energy that's hidden that you both share we have gemini energy you both have a lot to say to each other you are holding back or you've been holding back a little bit but it looks as though you're about to speak your truth what is spirit advise spirit advise is releasing something so we'll have to look and see further that is kind of a scorpio energy with um, mars energy so it is about releasing something and you know when we look at this we have a little triangle here that could be releasing toxicity but we'll clarify that so that you don't wonder all right so as the week at this time as a relationship or the reading is looking at the future we're looking at the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is one person giving to the other it's not equal give and take equal give and take is what you're both aspiring to but right now it does not look as though that's what's actually happening here so we're going to go ahead and clarify all of this and see what's going on. We're going to pull some oracles also for clarification, for spiritual help and guidance here. It looks like a powerful connection. I mean, that star card is like enough to seal the deal. But the devil card can undermine the relationship. And the judgment card says that control issues, competitive issues, balance and the, and the give and take in the relationship all need to be addressed and problems need to be released in that area. So we have 
the recent energy, the world card is clarified by the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is very fiery. You know, she's not always there for a long time. She's definitely fiery and passionate. She likes to chase. She likes to conquest. She absolutely, this energy that you've been in in the recent past means that both of you have fought for the relationship. You've both seduced each other. You've both really engaged with each other at a very passionate, fun level. The Sun card speaks the truth. And now we have this beautiful Star card. So the more you get to know each other, the more you fall in love. The two of you. The two of you are falling in love in a big way. And it's also a spiritually based love. Both of you feel as though the other person is really a good person and sort of maybe the best person they've ever gotten to hang out with or spend time with. Tell us more about the star card. Okay. Eight of Wands. Ooh, lots of passion. Lots of love making. Lots of communication. That's a good basis, though. Eights are really stability. I love eights. Okay, there, it's the infinity symbol also. So there's something ex extremely nice about this. Seven of Wands says that both of you feel a little bit uh, tender-hearted, like you're, you're fearful. There's some fear here, almost like you're trying to defend your heart. The Wheel of Fortune, though, comes in Sagittarius. There you are in your reading. Love it, love it. That means that things are moving rapidly for you. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. You know, it's really a good sign, but things, this relationship is moving quickly. Seven of Pentacles, why is it here? Ten of Swords. So your person is very much fussing and worried about the fact that the investment may be lost if there's a betrayal. So there's sort of, there's, there could be a, this could be a lot of jealousy with this Scorpio energy with the devil and the five of wands. So there's, it looks as though that's going to be a really key factor in the relationship. Okay, why is the 10 of swords here? 10 of swords, magician card, hiding, your person's hiding the fact that they're very fearful that they could end up hurt. Now, again, when we release something, it's usually we have to release bad habits, thoughts, old wounds, okay? Oh, nice energy. The Three of Wands, Aries energy, you know? That Three of Wands is really beautiful. It's all about Tiki Torches, Starry Nights, beautiful time together, being serene and calm, feeling it. Your person feels as though you are the ship that's arrived in the harbor. There is nobody else, but they're not sure you feel the same way. I feel as though your person's very jealous of you, Sagittarius. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why does Sag see the Two of Cups as, excuse me, why does Sag's person view them as the Two of Cups? The Ace of Swords, that came out sideways and kind of, I'm just, I'm going to put this sideways. It was sort of like weird. Okay. So I would say that they think, Sagittarius, that you have clarity, but they don't really think that you're speaking about it a lot. It's almost like, you know, she has sort of her, she's like not talking, right? She has her hair, you know, she has her head stuck, her nose stuck up in the air. All right, six of coins. Your person is really worried that they are giving more to the relationship than you are. And you know, if it's toxic energy, though, that can be codependency. And that is clearly going to have to go bye-bye. So why is the six of coins here again as a clarifier? Three of swords, okay. I'm not seeing this as being a third-party situation, but it could be for someone. And that would make sense that the third party situation would have to be released. So this is going to be for some people, not all. For some people, I think this relationship is all about the fantasy or the worry or the fear that there's a third party situation or that they've had heartbreak in the past. Right now, I'm not seeing the cards that really show me that you have done anything at all, Sagittarius. I think your person came into the relationship with some wounds here. And I feel as though they're suffering and, 
it causes a little bit of drama or it will if they don't resolve this and the two of you you know keep going forward in this relationship it clearly looks like your person wants to so why is the seven of cups here they fantasize about new love and then they are concerned about what if it becomes too burdensome what if the burdens are too great they're worried about it they're worried that they're not going to make the right choice they're worried that the burdens will become too great in the new love relationship okay and that they'll be forced to move on and away from you okay so i really feel as though we've got we have somebody here that needs to work on themselves their inner their inner peacefulness is they're not coming into this relationship as grounded as you sag why is the knight of swords here what needs to be said well you both need to share the idea and share the feelings that you have fire in your belly sagittarius that's your energy again so both of you really want this relationship both of you are willing to fight for it the page of pentacles you're making a small offer to each other ah oh, you really love each other oh my goodness the king of cups sag you know we have scorpio energy scorpio energy Jealousy is usually assigned to Scorpio, right? Okay, so why do we have judgment here? All right, I like this. Make head over heart decisions about controlling your thoughts because if you control your thoughts, you can control your emotions. And it really speaks to the fact it's about keeping balance. It's about being fair. It's about dealing with facts, not fiction or fear. Yep. Oh, nice. The Queen and King of Swords together. So it looks as though the two of you can work through this. It looks as though you both have the intellect to do that. You both have the power of love with this King of Cups enough to really be able to discuss this and stay on track with it. You both want the relationship, so that's great. Okay. So let's see what we have. The Six of Coins is about both of you being very concerned about balance. Who's giving what? Who's receiving what? Is it equal? The Three of Coins, I like this. It's a really great card of collaboration. It really speaks to the fact that you come in as two different entities, you know, and then the relationship is a third entity. I like it. In astrology, it's like a composite chart between two people. There's the relationship, you're, there's your individual charts, and then there's a chart of the two of you together. So you are pulling together in teamwork. You're rushing towards speaking about teamwork, equal give and take. Nice! Oh my gosh, it looks like you're going to have a big talk. I like it. A lot of effort is going to be made here to clear up any misconceptions, to make sure you're on the same page. You know, usually one person wants to talk and the other one doesn't, but this is mutual. You've been holding back. You've been keeping this to yourself as you move forward. But both of you want, okay, so both of you want this relationship to work. For some of you, you may have been in separation for a period of time. It could be COVID. It could be somebody deployed in the military. It could be long distance, but it does show that you're looking for a reunion. It does show that, but I don't think you had a real breakup. I feel as though it's been more like physical separation that you can heal. The Eight of Cups says that if you don't work this out, both of you are willing to walk away and will walk away if you cannot solve these problems. So the Eight of Cups is all about will, you know, it's about will you meet my needs or, you know, it's really when you've invested a lot in the relationship. I'm not seeing this as your outcome. Remember, that's a clarifier. But it really speaks to the fact that if the two of you can't make a go of this, but I think you will. Look at Ace of Wands, you know, giving it an, a new passionate beginning, the reconciliation and reunion card, doing the work, we're in Virgo energy right now, being very discreet, using your words wisely, speaking your truth, and teamwork. Oh, I like it, okay. So, the Eight of Cups does not have to happen, but it will, and both of you decided that that's how you will handle a relationship. 
uh, if it doesn't look like it can be successful, it looks like a mutual decision. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you. Let's look and see. We're going to pull three cards. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here and now, living in the here and now. Oh, excellent. That's how you get through jealousy issues. Breathe, take a deep breath. Okay. So here we have the devil energy, the never ending story. <laughs> so, so somebody has an issue that's going to keep popping up. And I really feel as though it's your person because they're the one with the three of swords. They're the ones with the, you know, they get, they get a little feisty the minute and ego driven, the minute they think things are not going in their favor. They may even be a person who threatens to leave or who takes off sometimes and just doesn't go, you know, doesn't communicate for a week. Okay, so those are your problems. Those are your challenges. Again, that star card really says that the two of you can have a beautiful relationship, you know, love fulfillment, passionate fulfillment together, happiness and joy. So, but you know, we can't let our toxic energies run away with us. So let's see what we have here. This is the High Priestess Oracle. So let's pull three cards from this to see what the advice of spirit is. The sun card is beautiful and radiant. You have the two luminaries. Look at You have the star and the sun. What could be lovelier than that? All right. Go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, and receiving. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. That's what the judgment card is. Making the decision to let go of old wounds and work, you know, we don't have to live in the past. Let's see what we have here. Telepathy, transmission, perception, communication. So you have telepathy with each other. You have this sort of innate, uncanny ability to communicate because we have the high priestess here. Look at this. Oops, I guess we don't. I'm sorry mistaken wrong reading <laughs> but i i thought i saw it in here but you can really see the telepathy card here also you know this energy flowing right through the third eye all right so you have a very interesting reading sagittarius i'm excited for your journey we only learn how to have relationships when we actually have them. So thank you so much. I'm so appreciative of your visit. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you would be so kind. I'm so grateful for your views and the rest. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.